Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in with Sigar's Wisdom for the Libra New Moon. This is a releasing time, this is not really a manifesting time, okay? This moon is in bad aspects, in tension with the other celestial bodies, the other planets in the sky at the moment. And remember, aspects are conversations that the planets are having between each other. So it's a T-square, so the, um, the new moon... Mars and uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Pluto are all squaring off with this new moon. So this is a lot of tension. This is um, uh, a very powerful and transformative uh, new moon. Okay, That's why I'm naming this video Pick Your Battles Wisely because people are charged. People are sensitive right now. People are going off left and right. Um, and by Mercury and Mars being retrograde, some people can be doing this to themselves internally and really being hard on yourself, being, um, very judgmental spirits right now going on in the collective. When we really should be focusing on our nourishment, mind, body, and spirit, uh, all the, uh, people meditating, um, Libra is the air sign. Meditation is key to release this tension that's going on in the collective energies right now. And again, I just want to say thank y'all for tuning in with Said God's Wisdom. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, uh, hit me up on Facebook, book a session with me if you like the way I read, and if you vibe with my energy. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this channel, and I appreciate you for taking the time of being with me at this moment in time okay <clears throat> now remember libra is a partnership sign libra is an air sign the ruling planet of libra is venus now mind you a new moon for my new people thank you for all the people that are new if, if you are returning um wisdom light um y'all sure already know what new moons are now remember new moons let me find something let me see i know i like doing demonstrations on this call okay so new moons this is the opposition. So new moons is the planets are together conjunct. So basically having sex if we want to get deeper into what a conjunction looks like. So all we can say they plan is kissing. So they conjunct in one day together. Okay. So the sun and the moon is together in uh, the sign of Libra. Okay. And the sun and moon together, again, like I told you, square out between Mars over here and Aries. So it's all a cardinal energy going square out. So check on your cardinal friends that are Libra, Aries, Cancers, and um, Capricorns. So we got the new moon, is, the sun and the moon in Libra. Mars over here, Lilith 2 and Chiron over here in uh, Aries. But the main one right now that's being hit is Mars. And then we have um, the planets, three planets over here. In Capricorn, so all these planets facing off with each other. Okay, that's a big old square off, is a big old battle. This is not a good new moon to really, again, like I say, manifest. And this is a new moon that you're going to be fighting, you're going to be facing fears, you're going to be transforming, you're going to be dealing with things you don't want to deal with, people you don't want to deal with. You will be triggered, you will be tried up and down, left and right shade up and down left and right judgmental people mess it could be a whole lot of conflama a lot of drama going on right now with this type of full moon a lot of mess i'm picking up in the spirit realm a lot of mess that's leaping over in the physical um but remember you got to find balance through this and the key the missing link out of libra aries and um capricorn is the sign cancer so that's how you deal uh with um t squares whatever energy is missing that's how you uh, you escape or heal that tension that's going on with the other planets. So the missing link, we don't have no planets in Cancer. The missing link is Cancer. So again, Cancer rules the home, feelings, the uh, the nourishment, the uh, the heart, uh, part of the heart, because Leo ruled part of the heart, part of the heart chamber too. Um, how you feel, the connection with the mother, the ancestors, fourth house in astrology. The home, how is your home like recruit back to home? So that's why I'm thinking the COVID gonna um reach a new height, probably the second wave, whatever everybody been talking about. And um they're gonna force everybody to be again nourishment, home, all those things that cancer are gonna be coming up. Again, if you need more insight, you know, book a session with me, we can go deeper. Thank y'all. Um but yeah, that's my point of video. Pick your battles wisely because this is a lot of inches, like you just saw the cards. That's a lot of planets talking. 
it usually be like one, two, or three. That's like six planets going at it with each other. This is not good. Plus, if we go deeper to the asteroids, Lilith, Karen, and stuff going deep into a black dog mother. <laughs> Y'all know my dog mother. But, uh, yes, Adam, first wife, Lilith. Um, but yeah, uh, before I go deeper, let's talk about uh, the planets in retrograde. Mars, so it's going to be a Mars retrograde, Aries. It's going to be a lack of energy. It's going to be um, like low sex drives right now. Uh, people wanting to go off, but don't know how. Retrograde planets. Remember, retrograde planets, y'all get your pen and paper. Take these uh, jewels down. Retrograde planets are um, deal with reads. Redoing, revisit all the reads. Redoing, revisit, relocate, revise, uh, readjust, um, relook, redo, uh, re, um, think, you know. But Mars deal with, again, our drive. Sex drive, Mars rule men, police officers were more as out under Mars domain. Um, the going people, the hustler in people, the uh, winner in people. So like athletes, a lot of athletes have a strong Mars. People that you constantly going, going, going and doing things have a strong Mars in a chart. Uh, that's where it's really turned out. So people are pushing themselves. That's why um, it's like... How the Bible talk about at the end times, the dead will rise again. Like, we literally are walking zombies because we all have to go through the transformation. Remember, an invisible enemy, COVID, which is really, if you research, uh, if y'all watch The Flash, with how they get their powers through dark matter, that's all we're doing. Because remember, this planet is alive. We're in outer space, people. Y'all really look around and wake up, okay? Please, if you literally just sit, take a moment and sit, especially during the day. And you see those black specks in your eyes that's like, like around, that's floating or whatever. That's um, dark matter. So um, just if you want to know more about dark matter, research dark matter or research and watch The Flash, okay? You'll understand what I'm talking about. And plus you'll get a hint. I'll be talking about timelines and multiple people. Uh, the twin flame thing, like all it falls under um, The Flash. Watching the episodes on that uh, series on Netflix. But, um, and y'all, I know I'll be pushing, uh, shows and stuff. No, I'm not an ambassador for Netflix, not yet. We're gonna claim it in the future, though. But, um, yeah, Mars has turned out retrograde in his home sign, Aries. So, it's recruiting back to the self. Aries is the self. Healing, re... It's like a lot of revisions, a lot of revising about the ego, like the suppressing of the ego right now. So, a lot of men are getting upgrades and being awoken. Remember, Mars will men. Now, Mercury is retrograde. Mercury rules our um, thinking process, our communicative process, our nervous system to a certain degree. Um, the lungs and it's retrograde in Scorpio. So um, Scorpio deal with um, drugs, abuse, sexual abuse. So it's, it's a lot, y'all. This is a lot of energy. It's heavy energy right now, especially if you're trying to go to reader healers right now. I recommend all my healers and astrologers, tarot readers, everybody charge. Your fees don't take light on nobody right now because you, we are dealing with a lot of energy from people. And this is not what's up, okay? That's why I've been picking and choosing clients. I've been really reading into people's situations for the energy before I, you know, accept their uh, appointments because it's like, it's a lot. Like, y'all bring y'all problems to me to help y'all deal with it. But, you know, I still have a life. You know, we, I still have to help my parents, help this, do this, do this, get uh, things for the shop. Because I do services, plus I have a spiritual shop. It's a lot on your uh, spiritual gurus in, okay? So you got to think about that when y'all bringing those type of problems, relationship problems, needing to be guided problems. Like a lot of questions y'all could just do on research, you know, by yourself and research. But I digress. But um, yeah, Mercury retrograde. So again, re rethinking our um, mental process. Mercury is in Scorpio again. Remember, Scorpio and Taurus is the money axis in the uh, let's say tarot and the zodiac. So again, paying attention to your finances, uh, your money, who you having sex with, who you getting money from. Um, also, remember, I don't, I don't think I talked about this in my Mercury retrograde video. Y'all check that out. Why they stealing? But um. Mercury is known, Mercury Hermes uh, Elegua is known for um, being a trickster, you know, the trickster energy. Because if you research the Hermes storyline, when he was born, 
right out the gate he was born you know god full-fledged and the first thing he does he goes steal his brother cattle and play a joke and a prank on him so it's very uh mercury plays tricks on the mind during retrograde that's why people take it so seriously because it's a trick that's why they tell people under mercury retrograde don't sign contracts revisit rethink doing things uh pay attention to your wallets like things you, you keys like things that come up missing like oh snap i forgot this that and the third because mercury is a trick so your mind will play tricks on you doing a mercury retrograde so that's why people take that very seriously because uh you know the sun moon mercury mars venus are personal planets those things we could touch and feel daily okay uh but the ruler of the new moon is uh venus you know venus rules libra and taurus that actually uh, Mercury rules Gemini, Virgo, Mars rules Aries, Scorpio, Jupiter, Neptune, Jupiter, uh, Pisces, Sagittarius, Saturn, Capricorn, Aquarius. Okay, so uh, Venus is in Virgo, her detriment. So the rule of this new moon is not in a good sign, not in a good place, not a good, not in a, in a sign she doesn't like. So again, that's another dot toward. This not being a good moon to uh, manifest on. This not a, a good moon to uh, to be out in the world. This is this new moon I'm picking up right now from all this. This new moon is about taking care of yourself and working with partners that are spiritual. Because remember, we still got Neptune and Pisces. Working with partners, and then Venus about to pose Neptune in Pisces. So working with spirit guides, your spiritual team, your ancestors, um, can build a connection with them. Again, like I said earlier in the video about Libra's air sign, meditating. Um, also, Venus and Virgo deal with health, taking care of your health. Like I went and bought a plethora of frozen fruits and vegetables and my different things to make my uh, homemade smoothies and stuff to really nourish my body, you know. Really taking care of that temple, that vessel, okay? Self-care is key right now with this ruler of, of Libra in um, Virgo, Venus in Virgo. But um, we're coming up against unexpected changes. Deep insight, some confusion. Um, like I say, people are very sensitive, heightened right now, intense, gives them space. A lot of overreacting right now. Um, we are finding balance in the midst of chaos, okay? And now we have to really see. That's why our spirit was like, tell the people about meditating, really calming down the mind, retreating, again, Mars retrograde, going inward, redirecting, going inward, and uh, taking a moment, figuring out who you are, knowing yourself. Remember, Mars is I am, uh, Libra, Lib let me see, let me, oh my God, my, uh, my grimoire right here y'all hold on libra is let's see libra is keyboard yep i thought about to say i, I should have went with my first man i balance harmony okay key phrase i balance keyword harmony so where is the harmony in your life where is the balance in your life are you in stable relationships? This this T square right here, a lot of relationships can break up around this time with this energy. A lot of people, you know, really being enough is enough. I can't take you no more. You're not the, the person I thought you was. You're not right for me. You're not you not what I'm going. You're not meant for my highest good. A lot of that energy is hitting hard right now with this new moon. This new moon activates on the 16th. It's going to awaken a lot of people. You will see a lot of couples break up marriages break up uh things and it's not me speaking ill on nobody relationship i don't know y'all personally i'm not talking to y'all directly it's not a private video this is a general so don't take it personal um uh, but a lot of breaking again t squares tension for success a lot of breaking trying to find yourself again remember the energies we're dealing with we're dealing with aries we're dealing with libra we're dealing with capricorn so a lot of things dealing with the gov capricorn is government libra's relationships aries the self so it's a lot of selfish things like i gotta give me survival mode i'm picking it up thank you spirit i'm picking up survival mode okay i'm picking up people again really 
trying to figure out who has your back. Libra, partnership, who I'm working with. That's why I say go ahead straight to your ancestors. Go ahead straight to your spirit team, your spiritual friends. Get your uh, coven together, your soul tribe, and really figure out, hey, y'all, let's meditate together. You know, do something that's uplifting and that's going to raise your vibration in this tough, intense time. Burn your sage, burn your incense, work with your crystals, ground. Really get into um that, okay? So that's enough to spill on the the breakdown part let's get into the tarot so you know how i do we're going to do the signs first let's see so we're going to start with yeah, i'm picking up the air signs first a gemini libra and aquarius spirit what self-care tips you have for the air signs in the zodiac libra gemini and aquarius spirit thank you thank you thank you angels archangels gods goddesses fairies thank you so much what insight you have for the air signs of the zodiac? The air signs of the zodiac. What self-care tips you have for the air signs? Okay. Air signs. Burning bowl ritual. Ooh, some fire. So yeah, Mars square Jupiter. That is explosions. When that happened earlier this year, that was the big explosion that happened in Beret overseas. So yeah, channel the energy. Instead of making the energy go outward, break it personal. Do something, some alchemy, yeah, some alchemy with this um, energy, okay, my air sign people. And if not, you, if you're not a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra, we all have it somewhere in our chart. Uh, know your person again. Know your natal chart. Know um your Mercury, your Mars, your Venus, your Moon. You might have a uh, you might be a, a a Virgo Sun, but you have a Gemini Moon. You see what I'm saying? So know your energy, okay, people. Let's go to show me fire, fire signs, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Spirit, what um, message you have for the collective? Spirit, what messages you have for the collective? Thank you so much. Ooh, oh, all right, flying out, baby, Lord. Okay, <laughs> watch a movie. Perfect, Disney Plus, Netflix, Get Into the Flash. Hulu, Amazon. Oh, the boys are so good on Amazon about the superheroes, y'all. Oh my God, I love that. I'm getting to them. I'm still in season one. I'm catching up, y'all. I'm gonna do a breakdown for y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know what it's about. But my five sign people watching movie. Get um, connect with animals. Change your hair color. Um, I'm seeing transformation from my fire sign. Um, something you're gonna watch. Something you're gonna see. You're gonna inspire you. Fire you with some inspiration. Something or dealing with some, either your pets or seeing something will inspire you to change your look. So pay attention to my fire sign people out there. Earth signs, that's Virgo, um, Capricorn, and Taurus people. Thank you, Spirit. Give us some insight on them. And y'all let me know if y'all like this little segment I do with the self-care tips. Let me know in the comments, y'all. Y'all be so afraid to leave comments. Y'all communicate. Come on, channel this air sign energy. Talk to me. Talk to me. You know, y'all be watching my... Thank you for watching the videos. And clicking on, but talk to me, you know. Give me some feedback for my earth signs. Let's see. Ooh, intuition. So my earth sign people, you're being tested right now. So be mindful of uh, people trying to test you against them. Be mindful of people at work. Be mindful of people trying to abuse your kindness for weakness. Be mindful of your heart chakra. Shield your heart. Um, go inward, channel this uh, Mercury and Mars retrograde energy. Go inward. We still have Neptune retrograde, uh, Pluto retrograde. So, no, Pluto retrograde, I'm sorry. Yeah, Neptune, the, the, the spiritual planet is still retrograde. So, y'all use this energy, my earth sign people, and tap into your intuition. See the unseen. Close those physical eyes and tap into the spirit world, okay? And see what messages you have. The spirit, your ancestors, your inner team is trying to give you some insight. Last but not least, my water people, Pisces, uh, Scorpios, and Cancer spirit. Give me some insight on my water signs. Ooh, three. Okay. Connect with your ancestors. Interesting. Connect with your ancestors, my water uh, tribe people. That's Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Tap into your ancestors, the different dimensions, who you really are. Tap into the self. Tap into your body. Get used to 
this intuition, this heightened intuition right now. Some people can't take it. Some people are using drugs to escape. Don't use drugs to escape. Meditate. Uh, watch movies. Do active things. And not really try to escape the drugs. Okay, my people? Okay, Spirit, give me insight for the collective for this new moon in Libra, Spirit. Thank you, angels, and the masses, God, God, and Rishas. Thank you, ancestors, how you feel. Thank you, my team. Thank you so much. Ooh, the devil came out the first card. Okay, thank you, y'all. If y'all know this, have you noticed by now, I don't pull cards unless I'm told. But, uh, I, um, let them fly out. Jesus, who going, y'all, y'all going through some intense energy, I'm seeing some people losing their jobs, I'm seeing some of the people uh, fed up with not having enough unemployment, I'm seeing a lot of people hurting, this is not a good energy, that's why I say y'all need to be mindful, that's, oh Jesus, I'm, uh, uh, you know, picking and choosing, pick and choose your battles wisely because I'm picking and choosing my clients wisely too. But I can't work with everybody energy right now. I just can't. I can't. It's too much going on. Okay, we got some fairy godmother energy going on. Some people being supported. I'm seeing some people again moving away from tough situations that are hindering your growth. Another a queen. Two men, two women fighting. I see a lot of women going back and forth with each other at this time. Um, because when two queens come out next to each other, it's a rivalry. Some jealousy, envy. Watch out for um, people that are trying to um, jealous of. I'm seeing somebody, somebody jealous of your new call. Somebody jealous of your new job. I see somebody that is jealous of your new relationship. Be mindful of those uh, them snakes, them predators, them people that are uh, they claim that you're friend, but they're not. I'm seeing some um, a lesbian couple. If you out there, take it easy with your spouse. This is direct me a message from Spirit. If you're a lesbian couple. Take it easy with your spouse. Like I say, everybody is, in, in, is intense right now. We all going through something very um, powerful and transformative right now. Uh, I'm seeing, let me get some more insight on this double card. I'm seeing some karmic partners. What's going on with the karmic partner spirit? What's going on with these karmic tough situations? What's going on with these people that's a very manipulative, this narcissistic energy? Thank you, spirit. Three cards fell out. Have strength, pinnacles. Okay, so I'm seeing people being very childish. I'm seeing people that are draining people energy, using people, um, stalking people, and tapping into their ashe and draining their energy. So it's like, think about this. Okay, so how uh, so how it works is, like, say you're having sex. Say, okay, this is about to be explicit. Say if you're having sex and um, you beat your meat or you masturbate using a dildo and... Um, you think about a person. You think about a celebrity. You calling that person's spirit and energy to you. That's called astral projection when we go deeper. Also, tantra sex. So, when y'all doing this for these immature people out there, you're trying to call and siphon these people's energy. That is, it should be against the law. I can't wait to get some spiritual laws. And because that should be, that, that is wrong. That is very wrong. That is very wrong. Draining and sucking people. That, that's the damn sucking bus energy. Y'all need to stop that. But uh, whoever going through this sucky bus energy, whoever these energy vampires that's leeching onto you, you need to take a spiritual bath. Right now is a good spiritual bath. It's also good to pray. I'm hearing the goddess Nike. Work with the goddess Nike. A lot of the victory goddess, goddess Athena, Lord Ganesha, um, Oya. She helps out a lot. Yimmy, y'all helps out. Uh, like working with uh, the Orishas, like really knowing your spirit team, your ancestors, your guides, because they can help you out of these tough situations. Some of these situations are what you have put out and, and now you're receiving it. Like I say, karmic situations. Um, I'm seeing a lot of money being lost. I'm seeing some people made some poor investments and now you're uh, facing and reaping the repercussions of that. I'm also seeing some people trying to return. They remember Mercury retrograde and Mars, any retrograde planet, bring people and events back into your life for you to face and deal with. I'm also seeing, um, I'm also seeing people moving overseas. I'm seeing some people moving. I'm seeing travel. I'm seeing a lot of people that are having um, problems with their throat chakra. You know, meditate, work with the color blue. I'm seeing some people need to work with the color blue more to balance their throat chakra. Also, I'm seeing the sacral, sacral and root chakra. 
like balancing that working with um some ground crystals hematite black obsidian tourmaline carnelian uh tiger's eye working with those type of crystals to help that also um laying down your bed and um lighting your candle sliding your incense and um putting your uh labradorite or some selenite on your uh stomach as you lay because you know selenite help with cord cutting and releasing people and releasing things that no longer serve your highest good okay and that's what we want to do right now with this uh portal of this new moon in libra we want to um release people that no longer serve serve our highest good we want to move away from i'm seeing some toxic um women for my males out there release these toxic women and focus on your money focus on your journey where god is taking you sometimes you have to be alone sometimes you have to walk that path when you meet your maker when you have to meet jesus for my people that are uh dying and transforming you will be alone you will be alone when you meet your maker okay so stop clinging to people but i'm seeing a lot of immature people trying to cling on and um siphon and stalk these people energies because these are my stalking cards when these pages fall like this or they feel this stalking then the people and spirit telling them to tell me to have tell the people have shrink through this tough situation lord jesus so it's like i'm pitching a crab clinking on to you and won't let you go i'm pitching like a, a dog locking his jaw on biting you locking his jaw on you and won't let you go i'm picking that nasty energy up for a lot of people out there so you really need to face these battles and this battle what you're facing you need to choose it and fight back okay you need to fight back and try to get them off you but i'm seeing pray because i'm seeing you constantly giving this person second chance chance of chance of chance and you're draining you're losing you're not winning remember who birds of a feather flock together flock together so when again even if you're having sex y'all change your energy so if you're gonna have sex with somebody make sure you have sex with a billionaire if you have sex with somebody make sure you have sex with somebody that's uh you know going moving you know moving weight like you know like doing things in the world like out there hustling you know out there getting that has um sufficient uh status not saying be gold diggers y'all going out there but just be don't do it with don't have sex with just anybody you know y'all are exchanging energy y'all exchanging as shade y'all exchanging spirits you know so y'all want y'all to take this wisdom of being aware and calling on your angels and your spirit guides call on the upper room okay call on the upper room to help you out these tough situations and what are you going through in these tough waters of the scales of Libra right now remember we are finding finding balance in the midst of chaos but like I say, be mindful of the people that got a new car and you got some jealous and haters around you right now be mindful of it okay Let's see what the spirit animal has to say for the collective. Thank y'all for being here. Thank y'all for tuning in with me on my journey. Okay. Let's see. Spirit, what spirit animal is speaking to the collective for this Libra new moon right now? Finding balance in the midst of chaos. Choosing our battles wisely, spirit. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, spirit. And also, I'm going to say this too, we can have some blessed uh, events because like, like I uh, researched that the Libra new moon is also conjunct the fixed star specker and it's very angelic. So we can be finding people that come into your life right now. It's very angelic. Okay. It's very meant to help you like a saving grace energy also. So it's like we've been t fighting tough, tough battles. So now God is sending in, sending in people like it's not uh, nobody that's already there. Uh -huh. It's new people that's coming in that's your saving grace, okay? Mm, Y'all saw that flipped over? Dove spirit, be peace. Number 21, and you know 12, 3 reduced to Jupiter, Zeus number. Um, also the high self number. Let's see what, and then eagle spirit, that's Jupiter, Zeus thing. Um, oh, wow, spirit has your back. So, okay, keep pushing, keep, you know, keep going forward, y'all. Because y'all are divine and protected, especially the people that watch this video. You are, I speak it over your life. You are protected. You are blessed. Okay? Ooh, God is your riding staff. Okay? He walks, she walks with you. Remember, God is 
energy. Okay, number 21. And y'all remember to share this video. Y'all can help somebody along their journey. Okay. So the dove spirit, be peace. Okay. The dove spirit is asking you with her peaceful cooling. cooling oh, with her peaceful cooling, the gentle dove spirit invites you to embrace the energy of peace. And allow compassion to warm your heart. You will always have the power to generate peace within you. And the appearance of the dove spirit is a reminder that today and every day is a good day to meditate. See what I was talking about earlier. To meditate. To quiet any turbulence within us. Within you. Wait, within as you embody tranquility. Above. Below and all around you, much may be happening to distract you. Okay, having distractions, so y'all be mindful. But you are called to engage it with the heart of a peacemaker, asking yourself, What would peace do? Can you agree to disagree? The peace you seek rises within and spreads out onto the world as spirit sends her messenger to remind you of the beauty of a harmonious existence with all that is how beautiful and powerful is your compassion compassionate heart protection message however disturbed the waters around you however troubled your heart dove spirit is here that here to remind you that peace without begins within as you reconnect with spirit those practices that awaken you from spiritual amnesia so remembering who you are okay how easily you forget you're being invited to sit in the cozy safe nest of spirit soon the waters will become still and you will feel peace again be compassionate with yourself at this time for all of us can forget that peace is always at hand always there gifted gifted to us by spirit become the peace you wish to see in the world so you can reduce any suffering performing acts of kindness and radiating love in the midst of chaos dove spirit also reminds you that when you see inequality or someone harmed or in need trust that you have the capacity to bring peace through smiling sending love speaking a kind word and listening with a compassionate heart do your part to be a peacemaker nourishing compassion reminding others of the joy of harmonious coexistence so they may embrace the dove spirit within themselves too. And remember, Libra is an air sign. Libra is about peace. Libra is the judgment of character. The high vibration, low vibration. You can see your character manipulation. So be mindful of manipulators, narcissists. Be aware, don't let the narcissist drain you. Narcissists need that light, that love that you carry within your heart, mind, and soul. They need you. And when you can't be their supplier anymore, they get mad, they get angry, you see their true colors. So remember, mark my words, you will be seeing people true colors with this new moon in Libra. Focus on your health, focus on yourself. Right now is a good time to be selfish in a good way. Of making sure you're straight. Now, if you got to help somebody, help somebody. You know, if it's not going to drain you or take you out, you can help. Okay? But you have to be the what? Judge of it. You have to be the believer of your situation. Y'all be blessed. I love you. Thank you for being here with me. Please make sure you subscribe and share this channel. And I appreciate your attention at this moment. Thank you so much. Be blessed.